Okay. You realize I look like any other blonde bitch on this uh -huh. road, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of that look exactly like you driving around recklessly. <laughs> uh, she thinks she's blonde. Copy at 1050, Duval and Charles. Black scooter, 4776, November, Juliet, 4776, NJ, uh, white female on a rental scooter, reason for start reckless driving. It's that easy. How easy? That easy, let me see your license. Officer, uh, of course I can. Uh, What's your number? What's your number? Five five. Thank you. Uh, five five is good. You don't even know his name when you're asking. License. Driver's license. Malik working? I don't really care who was working, something about Malika, but uh, I'm more curious about the fact that there's noise in the background that sounds like someone singing. I want to know who that is. Uh. Or, in other words, officer, I'd like to register a noise complaint. This Tango 7 What's, uh, what's there to be confused about, uh, lady? Uh, you, you did a little, a little bit of... Uh, Whoa, that's a sentence, isn't it? Yeah, reckless driving, that's what I was going for. I lost my tra tra train of thought and all that jazz. I, I guess we're gonna leave that in. No, Kyle, I know you're a professional, but sometimes we have to do the thing that does the stuff. You know? What do you look at me for? I have no idea what I just said. Slamming on your brakes, driving carelessly, and, and screeching your tires the whole time. So you almost ran into a few cars as I watched you running, go back and forth on the street. I don't think that's me. I'm trying to find my friend. No, that, I'm, I clear, ma'am, it was what? clearly you, because I have two eyes that I can see with. Okay? Yeah, I have two eyes Perfect. that I can see with uh, yeah. as well. And so you've been driving back and forth the street for like last 15 minutes or so. Yes. I, I don't think that's me. Okay, but well, you... We're not arguing here. We're not gonna argue. What about him? No, what about you? We have you stuff. I understand. Why not him? Okay, well, our focus is you right now. When we're done with you, we'll address the other shit. What do you mean, screeching my tires? Well, I mean, it's a moped. I, I, is it, uh, you know, souped up? Because that's what kind of needs to be done to the thing if it screeches the tires. Or you're just going really fast and there's no limiter on it. And if that is true, what's your helmet? Slamming on her brakes and sliding because your 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 um, brakes are locking up. Your tires are screeching on a, on a pavement. Me. You. Yeah, I'm yes. A, I'm following a car very closely. That's that's the definition. That's the definition of reckless driving. All right. Let's see your license. I think I think that you have the wrong person. We're, but yeah, sure. Okay. Can we see okay. your license? I'm totally down to give you my license, but I okay. think that you have the wrong. Person. Switching it to move it up a little bit because we're, we're on the move it up right over here. I, I didn't know I was getting pulled over. Oh, boy, now you are pulled uh, right over here. Will you move it up for me? Obviously, I don't know how to drive. Ooh, a little bit sassy, aren't we? I get it, because you're on a scooter. And since you are, let me ask you one question. How much is the fish? That's good enough there. What? That's good enough there. Okay, thank you. I wish I knew what you guys were talking about. Because four eyes cannot make the same mistake. I saw you, he saw you. Okay? You realize I look like 
any other blonde bitch on this uh -huh. road, right? Oh, yeah. Pink hat broad such as yourself is not a blonde bitch, now are ya? Maybe you, you know, need to listen to the sign in the background. It's time to stop. Uh -huh. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of that look exactly like you driving around recklessly. Yeah, a lot. I don't understand what I said recklessly. Okay, we just explained that to you once again. You were following a pickup truck on the wall, real close. You were braking and accelerating and braking and accelerating. You made your way through here earlier behind an electric car, and I told you to slow down. And then you came around again, it because you, I've, I have because not been listen, I'm talking now. This is not a toy. It's a motor vehicle. Can you, can you please keep going? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to. Are you sure about that? I mean, it could be any regular old blonde bitch. <laughs> Why do certain women refer to themselves as bitch? And I'm pretty sure it's unironic in this case. All right, this is not a toy. This is a motor vehicle. You're treating it as a toy. That's the way you're driving I'm not. it. That's the way you're driving I'm it. Not. All right, we got two officers. I saw you driving recklessly. That's enough. Probable cause to stop you. Now, you need more explanation. I don't. I don't think that I've been stopped. Uh, so what are you doing right now? Driving? Uh. Sir, we're doing an investigation. That's we're my husband. That's my word, it won't happen. That's okay, but you, you were not driving, she was driving. Yes, and that's why we take care of it. All right, do me a favor, come over here. Come over here. Thank you. So this, uh, this is a traffic stop? Yes. You gotta let us finish our investigation. Do I not believe ask. you right, need me to finish. tell a person let me one finish. time. Let me finish. Not more. This is an investigation. All right? We, uh, this is a traffic stop. It's an investigation. Ask her if she understands. We... Well, um, I, I mean, maybe we need to ask you if you understand, sir. The hell kind of stupid shit did I walk back to? If she we, says yes. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. You cannot obstruct our investigation. She's an adult. She's over 18, isn't she? So, I love you. All right? Oh, geez, calm the fuck down, mate. I don't think the officer's into you. What? What? Why is this a thing? <laughs> Holy hell, man, there's two stupid people married to each other. The next generations are gonna be even dumber. Let us finish our investigation. What are you, where, where are you staying? What? Where are you staying? What, you have staying at a hotel or are you staying at, uh, where are you staying at? I'm staying with a friend. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something right now. If we're gonna see you again on the scooter doing what you were doing earlier, you're gonna go to jail, you understand, for careless driving. I was never careless driving. Yes, you, yes, you like are. Why are you playing stupid? Are, are you like, you have like issue with memory or something? I'm, I'm just trying to figure out. No, I don't know. How old are you? 22. 22 years old. So you're an adult, right? Yes. I mean, 22 is technically an adult, but, uh, you know, adultification is not a thing anymore these days. Everyone tries to stay 12 years old, and here we have... You know, over in the Netherlands, we have fat bikes, and little kids are driving those. They get in all kinds of accidents, and, well, here we have Miss Pink Hair Blonde Lady doing the exact same thing on an even faster motorized vehicle. Correct. So you're telling two police officers that witnessed you drive like a, you know, careless, in a careless manner, you're telling us that it wasn't you. Uh, is that I'm not saying that wasn't me. I'm you I'm said it wasn't you. I understand what is going on here. I I ex well, I'm explaining you as a, an adult to an adult. Okay. So okay. So, so you were driving. I know what you look like. I can see your tattoos, and I know what you, you know, what you're driving this rental scooter from this company. You went up and down Duval Street numerous times. What scooter number am I driving? It doesn't matter. What it's a rental scooter. It's, it doesn't matter what because number. Because I'm here with 34 okay, other Okay, well, people. we're just gonna give you a ticket. Uh, and and I mean, they're from your friend group. I'm um, that that it is me assuming they're all of the same type of person as you. They're multiplying. Oh dear. You're clearly not comprehending or I'm understanding. Clearly, I don't understand what's going on in Illinois. I, well, no shit. Where are you coming from tonight? <laughs> I mean, there's a jump cut here. I don't know why there's a jump cut. What did we miss? And why are we here with no shit, officer? I just got here like 20 minutes ago. Uh, well, according to the time index uh, indicator, you know, there's something going on in the terms of uh, you saying there was uh, an hour ago you were here and then all of a sudden now it's 20 minutes ago, but it's actually uh, two minutes later. What are we doing? Does time not flow in a normal direction in your brainy bit? 
You just got to Key West 20 minutes ago. About an hour ago, and so I just got my ago. scooter not too long ago. So, so an hour ago, with 20 minutes ago, then two minutes ago, that's one hour, 22 minutes, and just not long ago, that was, let's just say two hours ago. Are you stupid? Okay, so where are you coming from in Key West, and why are you driving on Duval? That's, where, that's what I'm asking. I just got off my flight from St. Louis. Okay. I live in Missouri. Okay. Illinois, I'm sorry. Okay. I live in St. Louis. All right, so let's, 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 let's do a timeline, all right? Okay. Your plane lands in Key West. Right? Yes. You get off your plane. You go to Sunshine Scooters. You get your scooter. Then where do you go? I've just been driving around. You've just been driving around. I'm trying to find any place that I can find. Okay. So you didn't stop anywhere on your scooter. You got on your scooter at Sunshine Scooters and you started driving around. I've stopped here and there. But where have you stopped? I'm not from here. I don't know. Okay. Stop. Anywhere and everywhere that I can. Okay, who are you here with? My friends, people who I work with. And where are your friends right now? Obviously anywhere but here. Ah, I finally understand the no shit, officer. Makes you wonder, where's Sherlock? Alright. So, do you see why how you're making this really difficult on us? I don't, that's why I'm so confused. You don't, okay. So you're driving like a fool on Duval Street. That's why this officer pulled you over, okay? And then I'm asking you what, let me explain who I am, okay? I'm a, I'm a traffic officer, right? So what I do for a living is I write DUIs, okay? And I'm telling by looking at you right now, you're under the, you're under the influence of something, okay? That's my belief, that you're under the influence of something, and I base that on my experience. Now, I was a police officer in Illinois, too. So I base that off of my experience, doesn't matter. I base that off my experience from working in Illinois and in working in Florida, all right? So I've done plenty of DUIs and I've yet to put you through any type of exercises yet, but I can tell by looking at you that you're under the influence of some type of intoxicating compound. You understand me? Not really, but okay. Well, I mean, understanding me and agreeing with me are two different things. You understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Well, officer, that, that is a mighty step from actually trying to establish if she understands the words coming from her own mouth. I do understand, but I don't And agree. you don't agree. Okay, that's all I ask, because you do not agree, but you, you understand. All right, so what time did you pick your scooter up today? Was it daylight or dark? Day. Probably around five. All right, so do you know what time it is right now? 8.55 p.m. So four hours ago, you picked up your scooter. So see how that doesn't make sense now? Because you just told me you just got off the plane an hour ago. Also, uh, her, her, you know, uh, uh, time zones? She, she's still... Well, that doesn't make any sense, though. Because isn't there like a one hour difference between the places she mentioned? Instead of eight hours? Or am I missing something here? That, that would be like me going to the United Kingdom and, uh, you know, telling them to drive on the right side of the road. Bunch of weirdos. I, I mean, I tried that shit over here in the Netherlands. This is bloody dangerous. So that would have been 7.55. I've been driving around for about an hour. I picked up my scooter and I went and I took a nap. What hotel are you staying at? I'm not staying at a hotel. So where are you staying, staying when you're here? I'm staying with my friends. Where? So where are they staying? I wish I knew. Unfortunately, I got separated from my friends. Okay, your friends? I have friends who live here. All right, and where do That's they live? That's why I am here. All right, so where did they live on the island? If I was with them, they would be able to tell you. So you just randomly showed up in Key West with your friends and you don't know where they live. So where are your bags right now? Where are your, where is your luggage? At my friend's house. I told you I went, I got off the plane, I went to my friend's house, I took a nap, woke up, here I am, driving around. Holy hell, man, this is like the plot to a bad movie. You got a phone, why don't you call them? Or is there some kind of plot device that, that, that disables your phone? I'm not under the influence of anything. Hmm. I'm confused on why you're okay. asking me so many questions. Because I have to do an investigation I do understand. based not, on my, based on my business. Be... So here, here's, here's the thing, okay? Um, I believe that I believe from my experience that you're under the influence of some time, of something. Okay? So in order to dispel my beliefs that you're under the influence of an intoxicating compound. I'll be the one that uh, is gonna get some music for you to do the dance of sobriety fueled by on well, this case pure dipsyatry. Do you would you wanna to submit to field sobriety exercises? If you would like to, I'd rather Well I'm asking not. I'm asking you the question if you would like to submit to a field sobriety exercise. Probably not. So is that a yes or is that a no? I need a very clear and decisive answer. All right. So here's what's going to happen. Okay. Was that? 
No dance? How very dare you? Arrest this woman. Here, here's what's gonna happen, all right? Where are your friends at right now? Driving around on their scooters. Okay. What? 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 Are they also stupid? I mean, lost? Uh. Why not both? They're probably both. Uh. Where? Call one of your friends right now. And say what? And have them come here. And say what? Hmm. So that you can give them a DUI too? Did I say I was giving you a DUI? I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know why I got pulled over. Because you're driving like a clown. <laughs> Well, if I'm not allowed to play music, I will play the best sound. I have the best sounds. You've been driving like a clown for the past half hour. This officer's watched you once go by, and then he pulled you over the second time you've gone by because you're driving erratically down the street of Duval. Okay? Which is a Saturday night, which is 100 people on Duval, and you're driving like a fool. So what do my friends have to do with any of this? Okay, you don't have to call them. I'm just trying to help you out, but if you don't want to call your friends, that's fine. How is that going to help me? How wouldn't it help you? How would it not? Because you're by yourself. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's the deal. You ever been read your rights before? I, I work for a lawyer. Perfect. You ever been read your Miranda rights before? I don't care who you work for. Yeah. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read you your rights again. All right? Am I being arrested? All, all I ask is that you do not interrupt me while I'm reading them. After you're done, if you have any questions, you can ask them then. I have any questions now. Well, yeah, I'm going to read this to you first, and then you can ask me questions afterwards. you understand me? Yes. All right, perfect. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will, you, can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and to have him present while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to you and represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any single time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? Do you understand these rights as I've read them to you? You're reading them off of a card. Do you understand them? <laughs> what? What the actual fuck are you talking about, lady? Holy hell. He's, he's not the one getting arrested. But also, he's the one reading them to you and, you know, he knows that you apparently don't know. Are you... I, I mean, I asked the question if she's stupid. I think we've got our answer. Uh, I'll give you a complimentary bitch, please. I do understand I'm reading them off the card, yes. You understand these rights. Perfect. At any point in time, as a law, as a law enforcement officer asks you to speak to an attorney? Yes or no? Perfect. Having these rights in mind, you wish to talk to us? I'm trying to ask you a question before you read me that. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to us about the incidents that happened tonight? What kind of questions are you trying to ask? It's a yes or no answer. Sure. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to speak to me about what happened tonight? What do you want to ask? Yes, what do you want to ask? Perfect. Where are you coming from? Where, is your, where was your scooter parked before you got here? My friend's house. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. In order to dispel my belief that you're operating a motor vehicle in the state of Florida on Duval Street, would you wish to submit to a field sobriety, te field sobriety test? Exercises. No. You do not wish to do that. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back. You're being, un you're being arrested for the suspension of a DUI. 79 is one in custody, one female in custody. From 110 pounds, you don't have to put them really tight. Yeah, but what about the 100 kilograms of pure stupidity? You also have very small wrists, so they have to be tighter than normal because I don't want you slipping out of them. I'm not going to slip out of them. Aha! That is exactly what someone would say that would slip out of the cuffs. Arrest their officer. Wait. Okay. Well, I'm going to make sure of that. Please do. Thank you. Do you have anything else on you should be aware of? Anything illegal? Nothing but nipple rings. Okay, those aren't illegal. What? But. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weaponized stupidity. What about that? Anything in your pockets? No, 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 wait, 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 let's go back to the nipple rings. Why do you have spare nipple rings? What, what's going on? What, what the hell do you do with nipple rings? Why do you need spares? What's going on here? No, but my left, my left hand's going numb. Can you, um... There you go. Thank There's you. plenty of room.
Let's put that on the hood of the car. Down to her or open the door for you? Just hold on to her, I'll take care of it. Gotcha. I had COVID two weeks ago, if you guys are curious. Perfect, congratulations. What do you want, a sticker for irrelevant horseshit? Why are we talking about... What did, did you get it from the nipple rings? <laughs> I don't know why she mentioned that. That's so funny. <laughs> for all the n piercing reasons? No. I've checked, no. I've checked for proper fit. You have enough room. Okay. Hey, hi. 110 pounds. You want to tackle me? I don't want to tackle you. Or anything else. You're more than welcome to. Alright, that's it. Ma'am, I run a family fucking friendly show here. You calm the fuck down. There will be no tackling or whatever you want to do. Yo, where, though? Lean up against the car. They're going to come see you. Well, I mean, it's a door slam. I'll take it. There's no one behind the door, but, you know, that kind of defeats the entire point of a door slam, officer. Why did the other door slam get cut out? Why is there a box in your car? I mean, if I'm gonna step into irrelevant territory, might as well go there. Open your mouth, stick your tongue out, lift up your tongue for me. Perfect. What is your first name? T? T and Alan? Tyler? Nope. Troy? Nope. What is it? Not those. <laughs> Cheyenne. 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 Okay, so no, I'm Cheyenne. 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 Okay, okay, this is my third language. <laughs> Where are you from originally? Colombia, South America. Really? Yes, yes, beautiful country of Colombia. Yes, can I go to the bathroom? She quite literally said Cheyenne, so, uh, well, actually she said nye, nye, nye. But I don't know how to write that noise. So normally I have, I have more information about uh, what, what happened and also, you know, the other video. But the other video is gone for some reason. So all I have to have... <laughs> Uh, that is not an outro. All I have left to say is, what I wanted to say is, remember to tickle the bell and all things around it, and I will see you uh, next time. Uh, bye bye. Uh. Not you, Cheyenne. 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 Okay, so no, Cheyenne. 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 Okay. Cheyenne. 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 C